Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do because I am constantly uploading videos that are not just going to enrich your life financially, but emotionally and energetically as well. So make sure you subscribe right now. Now moving straight onto this video, seven signs that you are going to be a success. Now the definition of success is incredibly personal. It will range from person to person. And to me, to be honest, I don't think success is necessarily lots of money, lots of power, lots of fame, lots of respect, or even amazing amounts of beauty. To me, when I see someone who is authentically successful, they are privately and passionately and proudly pursuing something of substance and meaning that's going to add value to people around them. They have this very grounded confidence and this incredible sense of direction and they are simply inspiring to be around. You can't help but be captivated by watching their progress. To me, those people have this inner sense of calm and amazing sense of happiness. That to me is someone that is successful and it doesn't matter if that person is successfully pursuing being a stay at home housewife or growing an incredibly successful business with hundreds or thousands of different numbers of staff. To me, it really boils down to the actual purpose and passion that is driving that person. Now, as you're watching this video and you hear these seven signs, I want you to think about whether they are already happening in your world, whether you already have those signs. And if you do, that's great. I want you to turn up the volume. If you don't, if you're missing some, that's okay. I want you to now think about how you can incorporate them into your daily life through some sort of habit system or changing your perspective. These things are all going to then help contribute to your own success. Also, whilst you're watching this video, I want, to let you, I want you to let me know what you think about it. And if you think of any other signs that are also really important to look at so that you know that you are also on the right path to success. Because as we share, we also share that we care and we all help each other and therefore we all raise our bar. So let's get straight into this. Sign number one, you're a doer. You get stuff done. You put your money where your mouth is. You don't just sit around talking about all these ideas. You actually go and do them. And you do them of a certain high quality and you do them to a certain deadline. You get stuff done. Sign number two, passion. You are incredibly connected and really believe in what you're doing. So much so that that passion fuels your energy and drive. You are excited. There is, you have this unshakable confidence about what you are doing and you really want to, this product or the service or whatever you are doing, you know is going to add so much value and enrich people's lives. That to me is passion. Sign number three, resilience. Whether your definition of success, your mission for success is staying at home, raising young children or raising tens of thousands of different staff members, there is a strength within you so that when those challenging times come up, you are able to rise above them. You are able to calmly and proactively come up with solutions that overcome them. That does not mean you don't get nervous, of course you get nervous, but you understand the difference between your intuition and what your gut is trying to tell you as a warning or a sign versus knowing that you need to be really strong and overcome this current challenge and know that that challenge is not always going to be there. You can rise above it and that challenge will evolve and adjust and come down and subside over time. But that resilience to just hang in there, rise and stick to what you're doing because you're doing it with passion and purpose. Sign number four, that you are on the path to success and that is time. You know that time is an incredibly valuable ingredient if you want to achieve success. So you use it very wisely. You do not waste it. When you're working, you are an incredibly efficient zone, incredibly focused with amazing amounts of concentration. You know that you've only got limited amount of time to get stuff done. So it is precious and you respect it and you honor it. But time is not wasted. Sign number five, and this is the one I think a lot of people miss, and that is openness. So many people are sort of so narrow-minded when it comes to you know really achieving their goals and being on that path to success, and that is fine. But sometimes when you become so narrow-minded, you miss out on all the amazing inspiration and opportunities that are constantly around us. And the thing is, when you do actually stop to take the time to open up your mind, the most amazing and weird and wonderful ideas can flow into you. And 
when you have an open mind, you actually are able to stop and realize the power and potential of that possible idea. And then you work out ways to shift and adapt to work with that possible change. So whilst it's great to be really focused and motivated and, and channeled towards working towards that goal or that particular business idea or that way of life, make sure that you keep an open mind because you're open also to the incredible power of inspiration. Sign number six that you're on the path to success is you have drive. There may be moments and there will be moments where people will laugh at you, they will criticize you, they will judge you. You even may start judging yourself and criticizing yourself and having horrible moments of self-doubt. But at the end of the day, you get back on the bandwagon because you know what you're doing. You are doing with purpose and mission, vision and a great sense of mission in your life. Now, you are realistic as to the challenges um, and obstacles that exist in your life, but you know that you have the strength and ability to overcome them if you keep going and stay true and authentic to what you believe in, that is yourself, and the value that you're adding to people. So to speed up your drive, make sure you really believe in yourself and what you are doing. And then sign number seven, that you are on the path to success is post-achievement. Once you have kicked that goal, you've achieved something, you realize how capable you are, you then go and raise your bar. You make the next goal that little bit harder, that little bit more challenging, that little bit bigger. You keep going because this is when the true growth happens. And your definition of success gets bigger and better and more powerful. Now, I really believe in everybody's ability to succeed in life, no matter what you are doing and no matter where you are in the world. But you've got to understand, you've got to really believe in yourself and be really committed and connected to what the value that you're delivering to yourself and the people around you. Do not let people try and break you or bring you down. When you are on the path to success, you're like a torch and you shine really brightly. And when you shine brightly, you Add light into other people's world, which is incredibly important and incredibly powerful. And that is how we raise the bar across the world. So if you're on a path where you're trying to create success, please believe in yourself and believe in what you're doing. And don't stop until you get to where you want to be. Now, thank you for watching Sugar Mama TV. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And of course, check out all my other motivational videos on Sugar Mama TV, as well as a whole range of financial videos, fashion videos, minimalism videos, and just lifestyle efficiency videos. And I will see you later in the week for either Lifestyle Love or next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now.